I'm a dwarf windbreaker. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator, and welcome back to Dayton Dissects. Today we're going to play a game called Skill Tree Saga. It's a game all about leveling up your skill trees. Although it seems kind of simple basically because you don't really get to move during combat. You just pick your skills, it goes for eight rounds, and then you have another turn. It's sort of weird. This is the map where you will go to get into the dungeons. This is the vendor, which is a little bit unwieldy. Aside from gold, you also have another type of currency, which are diamonds, and they are used to buy potions, so they are extremely important. Generally, I like to buy the medium or large potions. And then you also have, for 20 diamonds, the one that recovers everything. But 20 diamonds, pretty hard to come by. You can get to your inventory screen, but then there's no way back to the vendor menu, really, without clicking back out, which isn't really good. <laughs> You have your skill tree here, which as you can see is... It gets pretty crazy near the end, meteor showers and thunderstorms. But it's quite a grind to get there, unfortunately. This is your inventory screen, which can also be off accessed through the shop screen. But like I said, you won't be able to get back out. Let's check out some of the dungeon, the basic dungeon combat. So... Every battle screen looks like this, it'll tell you the level and the creature you're fighting, and you basically set your skills up. We'll do that on the second turn, I guess. And click fight. So as you're watching this, a lot of people would be tuned out of the game already within the first five minutes. But I did give this game a fair shake. I've spent a couple hours with it so far. And, uh, this is my slightly more experienced dwarf. I've completed this entire dungeon. So I'm not gonna get any experience for completing it, but... I do have a ton of skills. And I can even buy a couple more because I have my adventure points up here in the upper left. And the costs are down here on the cards on the bottom of the cards so I'm gonna go ahead and get firebomb because it seems like it would be a fun thing to learn and then you can upgrade it for more skill points up to three times which I try to do for all of my skills or at least the ones I use regularly let's beat the shit out of a spider we'll move this key kick because it goes first before any attack blitz you got blitz son Now we're out of astral energy, which is our mana, but we should be just fine. At least for a few more floors. That music is pretty intense. Which makes sense, because this game is, like, pretty serious as far as the story goes. There's not a whole lot of humor to be had. You are victorious! So I smashed that dungeon up pretty good. Let's see what we can do in the crystal cavern. Uh, we'll try it. Blitz! And poisoned. Yep, cast that earth shield, let the poison tick on you. That's nice. Derp, derp, derp. Elite Goblin Scout. No Venom Blade for you. Oh, he poisoned me. Windbreaker, that's a fucking funny name for an attack. I'm a dwarf windbreaker. Fear my might. This fungus is auto regening. I need to switch this skill out because it's not uh, it's not doing me any favors right now. I should just get the fight over with as quick as possible. That boulderling looks really derpy. The elemental creatures in this game don't look that great. Sort of out of place, actually. <laughs> goblin Trader! You can occasionally find a Goblin Trader in the dungeon, and he will offer a variety of loot, although it is much more expensive. This, though, is Goblin Insurance, which is generally a good thing to have, so you don't lose any items if you do end up dying in the dungeon. So I buy that and be on my way. 
Fungus! End it. No more fungus among us. The music in the fungus caves is pretty strange, but I'm enjoying the backgrounds much more than in the first level, which was basically just the woods. This is actually pretty nice to look at, and might motivate me toward the third level, however, maybe not, because it is relatively grindy. So we had to head back to town because I have no health or mana, and I'm gonna go ahead and sell the extra items in my inventory that I retrieved from the dungeon. Boop, boop, boop. You can tell because they have a green check in the upper left if they are equipped or not. So I'm selling everything that's unequipped, not really doing any comparison or anything like that. Back to the shoop, and let's uh, pick up a big old mana potion. And that should help out considerably. Mm -hmm. Back to the crystal cavern, it costs 100 gold to embark. It's pretty harsh. Ooh. Hit me for two, bro. That wasn't cool. Oh, he's elite. I've been tarred. At least he missed his obliterate. Obliterate does a massive amount of damage, but it only has a 50% chance to hit. I have it myself, but I stopped using it because casting mana to miss was not uh, my favorite thing ever. Okay, going through this dungeon relatively well. Already at area 5. Creepy music is back again to infest my soul. As you can see, the game's not exactly action-packed. I, I kind of want to compare it to It's a Wipe because it's like a Netflix movie of a game that you can just kind of put on if you just want to click some buttons but not really have to up apply yourself or exert too much effort. <laughs> this is a horrible thing for a gamer to say, but you know, you got those days sometimes. Though I would not play this for my channel. Alright. We're gonna need a re-up on mana pretty soon. Extend life. No! Now you're burning. Brutal swing. Raise strength by 50%. Oh wow, he hit me for 41. That is a nasty little thing. No death animation that time. Kind of buggy. Fight the cave blob. Cave blob. Oh my god, is it Sally Struthers? Yes, children, I'm back from the depths of Africa. What were you doing in darkest Africa, Sally Struthers? Food in the children. I don't believe you. Do, 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 do. do we have a health potion? I'm sorry for talking so much, but this is like a let's play. Okay. Okay. We might die this round. Obliterate. Oh my god, he has obliterate. We need to run if we can. Windbreaker! Elemental strike! Ooh! Oh, he missed his obliterate again. I'm gonna roll the dice. We got the goblin insurance. It'll be fine. Tar! Slime! <laughs> obliterate failed again! That's three times in a row. We're totally pushing our luck. More dry slime. I don't know what that does. Increases armor, I guess. Oh my. Very close. Victory! Wow, those are nice trousers. Don't mind if I do. If we win, we could level. Try it. You have to do it, little dwarf man! Uh oh. Oh my. Oh! Victory! It feels pretty sweet, even for a game this simple. And I want to equip those cool pants that I found. Beat the crap out of my other ones. Yeah! Stat scraping is one thing that I do like in games, 
and it's basically what rescues this game from just being atrocious. <laughs> that seems like a mean thing to say, but I don't really think it is, because in like three minutes I covered basically what the game is. Or even less than that, 30 seconds. Uh, it, it does have some depth to it if you are willing to sit down and grind it out. However, most people I know would not be. Um, and even with the, the stat-ups and reasons to keep going, I I find it hard to keep going. So, while it's not as bad as Why So Evil, I don't find it as compelling as It's a Wipe, which are both reviews that I've done. Uh, links are in the description to those. I will put it right between both of those games at a 5 out of 10, which I think is fair maybe even generous. Thank you very much to Silent Dream and Head Up Games for giving me the chance to review Skill Tree Saga. Some constructive criticism would be to create more engaging, make the gameplay evolve a little faster. The tutorial basically makes you think that, you know, you're not able to do anything except start the fight, which is unfortunate. It wasn't until almost 45 minutes to an hour in that I started actually seeing the second turn. So maybe tighten it up a little bit on that front. The music is relatively good. Um, I give it points for the music as well as replayability because you can pick different races and build your skill tree differently which I think is pretty cool if you want to sit down for another grind. I would say that the aesthetic needs to fit together a little better. Uh, at the moment it kind of feels piecemeal if I can say that. Like the Earth Elemental's got kind of these bulging eyes that don't really fit the realism that I think the game was trying to go for. So, 5 out of 10. That is my Dayton Dissects for Skill Tree Saga. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, and I hope you'll join us next time. Until then, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, oh. see you. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.